It is Thursday, November 19th, 2020, and this is your Three Gorgeous Damn update. We have three pieces of information to cover today, including a look at the water level and the live stream at the dam. Also, courtesy of Global Times, China's Three Gorges sets world record for annual power generation from a single hydropower station. We also have some new tweets. Let's hop into it. And a brief caveat before today's video. While researching for these reports, I come across information from various sources. Just because I decide to include a piece of information doesn't necessarily mean that I agree with it. I like to let you decide for yourself. Moving on. And first, let's have a quick look at the spillway angle camera. It's still up and running today. And now a look at everyone's favorite feed, the side angle camera. It's still down today. Every day I'm watching that side angle camera just like this. Not even blinking. All right, may maybe one blink. Okay, okay, moving on, moving on. And now let's have a quick look at the water level at the Three Gorges Dam. The current water level is 173.86 meters. The current inflow is not noted. And the current outflow is listed at 8,170 cubic meters per second. It is worth noting that these numbers are released by the CCP. Despite some small fluctuations, the water level at the Three Gorges Dam has remained about the same over the past 24 hours. It was about 173.85 meters and currently sits at 173.86 meters. Upstream at the Kuntan Monitoring Station, the water level has fallen a bit over the past 24 hours. It was about 174.33 meters and currently sits at 174.25 meters. And this comes courtesy of the Global Times. China's Three Gorges sets world record for annual power generation from a single hydropower station. China's largest power supply plant, the Three Gorges Dam, has generated 103.1 billion kilowatt hours of electricity in 2020 as of Sunday morning, breaking the world record for annual power generation volume from a single hydropower station, media reported on Thursday. Making full use of the comprehensive benefits of flood control, navigation, and water resources utilization, the Three Gorges project has generated 103.1 billion kilowatt hours of clean energy this year, topping the previous record set in 2016 by the Itaipu Dam in South America, the Three Gorges Corporation announced on Wednesday. The volume of clean electricity is equivalent to saving 31.7 million tons of standard coal, reducing 86.7 million tons of carbon dioxide, 20,600 tons of sulfur dioxide, and 19,600 tons of nitrogen oxide. Serving as a major clean energy production base, it greatly benefits energy conservation and emission reduction efforts in the country with a safe, efficient, low carbon approach that contributes to China's ecological environment. China has experienced unusually heavy rainfall in 2020 with a prolonged wet season and heavier precipitation, mainly in southern China. The Three Gorges Dam saw the largest flood peak since the construction of the reservoir, reaching 75,000 cubic meters per second in late August, exceeding the largest inflow in history. To tackle the peak, the Three Gorges Reservoir, with the help of the Ministry of Water Resources, has optimized its emergency responses and hydropower functions, while at the same time realizing more accurate weather forecasts and strengthened coordination to jointly rein in floods. It managed to maintain a smooth, steady functioning of its hydropower stations to enable the uninterrupted full load operation during the flood season. The Three Gorges Dam is by far the world's largest hydropower station and has the largest total installed capacity. It is equipped with 32 main generators, each with a capacity of 700 megawatts, and two power plant generators, each with a capacity of 50 megawatts, 
bringing a total capacity of 22,500 megawatts. The planned annual power supply is 88.2 billion kilowatt hours. Since 2003, when the first batch of power stations went into operation, it has become the backbone supplier of electricity in East China, Central China, and South China's Guangdong province and other regions. The breakthrough has shattered the long-held suspicions of some Western media that hype the dam as a danger to the environment and a teacup for a big tub of water, according to media reports from US-based CNN. Thank you for watching this video. If you're finding it informative, please consider giving the channel a subscribe. And our last piece of information is a series of interesting tweets about China's recent weather. And I think that's a good place to wrap up today's video. I hope that you found it informative and check back soon for more content.